my name is John Cool. Um, I've been living in Finland since 1997. I was born in Bromley in Kent. And when I left school at 16, um, I wasn't able to read or write at all. I went straight into um, manual labour, where I was mainly working on building sites and in factories. So at the age of 19, I started drawing in front of the TV and I was just listening to the sound of the TV and I was just drawing these kind of doodle or things that were in my mind. Sometimes when I was working, I, I was unemployed and then to pass the time away, I would draw and the drawing started to get bigger and bigger and then when I was 24, I decided to go to um, evening school and then from evening school I decided to go to do a foundation. Um, when I was doing it, before I went to the foundation I decided to go and try to learn to read and write because I thought it might be useful at our school. <laughs> and so um, quite early on in my artistical practice I kind of kind of had that learning was a quite important or I, the academic situation was quite important in um, to better me in art to be. Although most of my experiences are practical, I try to involve some form of learning. Um, in 1997 I moved to Finland where I've been living in the north in Lapland for over 15 years now. I think the, the uniqueness um, for me which I pr treasure the most nowadays, which at first I didn't, is the isolation and to be able to naturally without any influences and that's because of the location to actually focus on um, the really basic issues of your art, art practice or understanding the ideas which you um, develop. Even though I've performed a few times in England this opportunity is a very different experience because most of the work which deals with language, well, you could say English words, but they're kind of, I make my own language up because of this unable to speak Finnish. I've been living for 15 years. I cannot read Finnish. I cannot, I cannot read English and, um, or write English that well. So for me to learn Finnish is such a hard, and a difficult subject that actually the coping mechanism of the isolation and the actual lack of communication actually comes out in the work. How I make a piece of work, how I work now, is that it's the idea that determines the material and the way I make the work. So for um, and and but the basic principle of, I consider myself that I am like three dimensional. I, I make objects like. To, but if I were to really bring it down to one or two, well, if it was to one, I would say that I'm I draw. I draw. Um, but what I cannot do in the drawings, I do in the performances, and what I cannot do in the performances, I do in the drawings. For me, art is about learning. And um, the last probably five years, I kind of I ha I make art which I learn from, and that for me, that's the most important point. Uh, it could be like to learn to read, try to learn the Finnish language, try to speak a word, um, but it is about it is about the basic principle. If I cannot learn, because the actual work I feel has questions, not answers, and for me that is really important point for me to actually um, they're not they're never finished. There's never a full stop on the on the end of the sentence.